so grateful for all the support. Um, I will be moving forward with new music for you guys. Um, it's all about positivity and coming out smelling like roses, even if the situation can be so dirty and so low. So um, I've been in my room and I've been creating, I've been working, I've been healing. And I just again want to say I have new music. I will continue to pursue my passion. I will continue to do what I love. And all glory be to God on the army. You guys are amazing. I am so happy to have you in my life. And um, God bless everyone. Thank you. I love you guys so much. Previously made a video reading to you guys the TMZ story and giving you my opinion about it all. Too Short is being accused of sexual assault or rape right now from his former artist. Her name is Anna Lou. Now, she was signed to Too Short's record label. She was his protege. They did a song together called Bet On Me. Posted on my blog. Can't post it here. Strong suggests you check it out because the beat was hot. It's a dope record. You know, she has a lot of talent and see a bright future for her in the music industry. In the future, but just not with the help of Too Short, I guess. Well, news came up, I guess it was the end of 2016, that he allegedly sexually assaulted or raped her. And, you know, it, it's, let me just read to you what was being said online. So, first of all, Celebrity T posted an article titled Exclusive Two Shorts Team Shuts Down Accusations of an Alleged Rape of His Artist. Now, they posted that article January 22nd of 2017. Tamantha Gunn wrote the article. I'm not going to read the article to you guys. But... Anna Lou reposted a screenshot of that story and what she had to say about it was sad 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 now keep in mind this is the same man that took down all posts of me and my song on his profile to try and claim that he doesn't know me now we all know that he does know me and that is a lie it would have been much easier to keep quiet and keep advancing myself with my career also, would have been much easier to take my own life and nobody would have known what happened or why I did it. Still, I'm not crazy. I'll tell you what I am is honest. She went on to post the following two messages on Instagram, a part one and a part two, explaining her side of the story. She said, I wanted to end my own life. I didn't realize how selfish I was being towards those who really care about me. I had never felt so low. Betrayal can make you feel worthless. If it weren't for my mom, I probably would have left this earth. The truth is, I trusted this man as a mentor. I thought he was my friend. And he told everyone that I was his artist. My virginity meant nothing to Too Short, but it meant everything to me. I'm a good person that was raised in a Catholic home. I expect the best out of people. And that is where I went wrong. I was raped sexually, mentally, and psychologically. Everybody has a has a opinion. I realize that coming out and sharing my story makes a lot of people upset. It's not about those people. Those are the same people that knew about what I went through, but suggested that I cover it up and keep creating music. Those are the same people that preyed on me just to manipulate me. Those are the same people that stole my music and told me I couldn't have it back. I'm telling my story to prevent someone else from being taken advantage of. I would hate for another young artist that's trying so hard to make something of themselves to endure the pain that I endured. It was a horrible feeling. If you were going to judge, take into consideration someone's character and what you believe in your heart. I can't get my virginity back, but at least I still have my sanity in my life. Whoa. Thank you very much, Anna Lou, for explaining things from your side of whatever went on here. You know, I really can't speak about her character because I, I this is the first I've ever heard of her I heard of her today TMZ finally talked about it she posted these things that I just read to you guys from Instagram weeks ago we're talking oh maybe the beginning or middle of January why didn't the big news organizations pick this story up when somebody's making accusations like this 
about a legendary musician we should have all known about this weeks ago. Is the media covering up her story as well? This is really insane. But anyways, Anna Lou, now for the record, I'm not saying Too Short is guilty. I'm not saying anything as far as what I think about who's telling the truth and all that stuff because for legal reasons, it's best that I don't do that. But I will say this. Thank you very much, Anna Lou, for sharing your story with people because you're helping to protect other people who want to get into that music industry or, or any other industry for, for that matter. Because this can happen anywhere in any industry where somebody may want to take advantage of a person because they're over them, whether it's a boss at a company, a superior in the military, or somebody owns the business and they're like, you know what, I, I'm the owner, I can do whatever I want here. You know, people take advantage of people all the time. And I'm not saying that, once again, I'm not saying that Too Short is guilty of anything for legal reasons. I, I don't want anybody's lawyers calling me, <laughs> emailing me. <laughs> like, what did you say in that video? I'm just saying that sometimes people think that they can get away with anything because of who they are and the people that they know. Now, on the flip side, let me say this. Too Short has had plenty of women. Why would he ever have to rape any woman? But then again, like they say, rape is about control. At least to a lot of rapists it is. So, and once again, I'm not accusing anybody of anything for legal reasons. I, I can't do that. And I'm not going to do that. But anyway, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter, Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Boy, I would love to interview the beautiful Anna Lou. Now, with such a serious video, I hate to say it, but I have to say it. She's fine as hell. Okay, I got it out of my system. I held back for about six minutes. I didn't say it, but I, I just had to say, damn. She, Anyways, <clears throat> I would love to interview her and get deeper into the story. I don't know whether or not there's going to be a lawsuit. I don't know whether or not she's going to press charges. I, I don't really know where things go from here. And I would really, to, really, really love to know more about this story. Maybe I'll reach out to her and see whether or not she would be uh, comfortable with doing an interview with me. Because I, I, I want to know more about her music, not just this, but like her in general. Because this is my first time hearing of Anna Lou. And I love that song that they did together. Because I listened to it today a couple of times. So I'm hoping that she will put out more music and she won't let this in her career, in her life. And thank you, Anna, for not taking your life. I'm glad that you're still here with us. And I hope to hear more of your music and more of your story. Meet Magazine.